All right, folks, today we are going to calibrate an OP902 Optima model OP902 indicator. I have a lot of these out there and you know, they're a Chinese made indicator and the instructions for calibration aren't very good. In fact, I'm looking at the book right now. And I guess on the new ones, they're not even sending out calibration instructions, but luckily I pretty much have it memorized. Um, since it's, well, the old instructions were very unclear. You couldn't even get in, it didn't even tell you how to get into the calibration mode. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And I figured out by just messing around with it. Um, first I'll uh, show you how to get into the parameter settings and set it how you want it. You hold down, hold and units at the same time and release. So off is your auto power off. Zero closes the function. I usually have it set to zero because people don't like their scale just turning off on them randomly. It's after a period of not using it. So uh, units selects the option. Uh, you can do 90 minutes, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, 10 minutes. Zero uh, it turns that function off. The next one, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a cold here, uh, is the backlight. Uh, one is the auto backlight, so when you start weighing, the backlight will come on. Two keeps it on, whether you're weighing or not, and zero turns it off. I usually have it set to auto, number one. This is your unit switch function. Uh, so switches, one will switch it to, or well, three switches between kilograms, pounds, and ounces. Two will switch between pounds and ounces. One switches between kilograms and pounds. And zero turns the function off so you cannot switch between different types of, you know, different units of measure. This is the hold function. It uh, will hold the weight. Uh, if it's a, well, this isn't an NTEP indicator anyway, but uh, a lot of functions, it doesn't help with accuracy too much because you can bounce around, but if it's not something where you really need it, then uh, don't worry about it. But, uh, and here again, I mean, the instructions are bad. I don't even know what five does or four, but it says three is auto hold, two is data hold, one is peak hold, and zero closes that function. Usually I do not need that function. Zero range, uh, two gives you 100% zero range. One gives you 10% uh, zero range and zero closes the function. I usually have it set at two because why not be able to zero out the full capacity? Another bad instructions. This does not even have anything in here about what this is. So I don't know what this is. I usually just leave it factory default and leave it. This is your, <clears throat> your negative range. Uh, so two is 100% of the max negative display. One is the 10% max. Zero is minus 20 division negative display. I usually leave it at two because who cares? This is your output uh, communication mode. And I have it set at one, continuously send. You can close it. Three is command mode. Two is manual send. I usually have it set at one, even though I don't use it on these. And your baud rate, again, one is 9600 bit, uh, five is 600 bit, four is 1200 bit, three is uh, 2400 bit, and two is 4800 bit. I usually have it set at 9600, even though I don't use it. It's what I have, what I use most of the time on my other piece of equipment if I should ever do it. So. Anyway, to get into calibration mode, you need to have it turned off. Then you're going to hold, hold and units down while you turn it on. And when it goes to all zeros, then you release. Now, it might take you a couple tries, but that's how you do it anyway. Hold and units while turning it on. If it doesn't work for you, turn it off and then try again. So 
uh, right now, so I'm going off my memory, so uh, there might be some ums and huhs here. So right now it's in kilograms. I want to change that to pounds right there, pounds. Again, units, selects, hold, or uh, units is your option. Hold selects it. FS5, this is uh, something to do with the amount of uh, calibration weights. I almost always just put it on six is custom mode. Decimal point, you can, you know, no decimal point, four, three, two, one. Uh, I don't know what this scale was that I was replacing this on. Give me just a second. Okay, <clears throat> it's two, so I need that. Divisions, one pound divisions, five, two, one. So this will be a one. Capacity. Uh, ah, see, I screwed up. So if you screw up, again, just turn it off. Well, actually hit that, then turn it off, and then get back into the function. Ah, see, I screwed it up. So as soon as it hits the zeros, you gotta let go of the uh, power button. I think that's what it is actually. You gotta, you just press the power button on and then release while you're holding units and hold button. So all the stuff stays saved. I just gotta get back to uh, capacity. Okay, so at capacity, you hit hold and then zero, selects the area, units changes the number. Okay, then enter. My load is gonna be 100 pounds. So uh, hit, hit load. Okay, okay. And then I think, okay, calibrate on, no load, so this is zero. Now you put your weights on the scale. And hit enter or hold. Then it says cal end, and it's gonna come up at zero or zero, one, whatever. That's because it's such a low thing. I might have to try to change the sensitivity. But at any rate, you'll take your weights off and it'll go negative and that's fine. But what you do then is it will automatically zero it out when you turn it back on. I'm gonna have to tinker with it a bit. It's a bit too sensitive, I think. But at any rate, that's how you calibrate it. So good luck with that.